Hey everybody, Thunderbolt here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. Today we are going to take a look at a map that I just downloaded called New Woodshire. This is a map that takes place in America, um, in the United States. Um, so you can see my mod list here. Um, this is a map I may want to do a Let's Play on in the future, so I kind of wanted to take a look at it. We can go take a tour of this all together. Um, so yeah, we got the map loaded, of course, and I got the money tool loaded just in case I want to load up on a bunch of money so we can go do this tour. Um, so I'm going to start here. We're going to load into the game. I already loaded into it once um, just to make sure that everything was working, tested my audio levels, all that type of stuff. Um, so let's get right into this. Um, may take a second to load here. Hopefully it's a little quicker because I've already loaded into it once today. There we go. That was pretty quick. Alright, so here we are on the farm. We start in front of the house. Normally when you spawn in for the first time, you're actually right over here at the end of the driveway. So uh, we'll pretend that I just spawned into the map for the first time. So as you can see, we are here at the main farm. We've got a flag up here. Some pretty nice sounds associated with the flag. Oh, there's traffic, so that's pretty cool. So as I said, this is a place... Um, this is a map that takes place in the United States. Uh, we are on new farmer mode. As you see, we have $100,000 there. Uh, let me get in here. I'm going to turn off auto engine start because I don't like that on. Um, not that any of this really matters because this isn't going to be the one that we do the let's play on. But this is what I normally do for my settings when I go into any new game. So. Uh, I play with real time or five times almost all the time. Normal economic, uh, traffic, all that type of stuff. So you can see my settings here if you guys want to pause it. This is what I do for all of my farming sim games that I play. So let's get in. Uh, is this a. Nope, that's not a vehicle we can drive. Duh, there's no cars in the game. Haha. <laughs> okay, so we are here at the main farm, it looks like, if we open up our map here. It's a pretty big map. So we got. Got implements here. We have a secondary yard over here, it looks like, which is pretty cool. Um, let's look at field size. So, what I like about this map is we got square fields. So that's really good for the AI workers. Uh, it looks like we have other fields over here that aren't necessarily labeled and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, we definitely got a bunch of grass fields, as you can see here. If we turn the grass on, um, that's probably forest these green shaded areas these are definitely grass fields these ones that are um, these green ones here those are grass fields um, what do we own by default so we own this area right here we own that grass field and we own the yard own this grass field and then we own this yard up here field 2 field 6 and then this little bit of the forest right there as well so we got the shop, um, we got a sawmill, we got a central grain elevator, we got a railroad silo over here where we can sell stuff on the rail, the spinnery is right there, we got a barn up here for straw, uh, we got a port grain elevator which it looks like it is on the train track as well which is pretty cool, uh, we got a railroad silo east, we got a restaurant to sell stuff to, uh, we got a ranch down here, it's probably where you buy animals maybe I don't know we got a lime station oh no there's the animal dealer it's at the port okay uh, we got a ranch what would you sell at the ranch Duh, this one it looks like they just take the crops and stuff in general too so uh, it's a good thing to look at here so we got four places four different cell points that take the majority of our crops uh, we got a spot here the spinnery for the wool Oh, cotton. Cotton and wool. So sorry, that's cotton. Um, so we got that. Uh, they do have a, They do take sugar cane and eggs at those places too, which is good. They take milk at all of those places. Uh, the sawmill takes the wood chips. And then the barn will take our, our silage, our straw, our hay, and all that good stuff. Uh, nowhere to sell manure or slurry but that's okay because we would just use those for fertilization uh, looks like we got 380,000 liters of storage throughout our farms which is pretty nice um, can I, I forgot to set those 
apparently I can't change the leaders. I forgot. Okay. Anyways, let's go take a tour of this main yard right here. So we got a, looks like a tether, which is nice to start with. We got the pole behind uh, New Holland, the Discbine 313 mower. We got a New Holland round baler, the uh, 150. And we got a wind rower here, really small one, but it's the Pottinger uh, Top 462, so that's pretty nice to start with. And th again, this is all on New Farmer. Um, obviously, you're not going to start with all of this on a um, if you start on from scratch or you know the other setting. Uh, so we got a barn here. This is uh, this is where you would come to purchase animals. This is the cow barn. Looks like we got a food fill point, we got the straw fill point, the water fill point, or it's the other way around. I, don't, I always forget if this one's water and that one's feed. This one looks like it would be feed. Maybe this one's water. I don't know. Either way, yeah, this is the water one. And then this one's the feed one. And then we got our straw fill point here. Uh, it's a nice looking barn here uh, for the cows. They got a little bit of a pasture out here, so that's kind of nice for them. They can kind of graze out here. So I like that setup. That looks pretty nice. Uh, we got our farmhouse right here. We got our storage rack right here for like uh, front loaders or we can put seed pallets, all that type of stuff. I really like when farms have this type of stuff. Uh, something I noticed earlier though was kind of funny is the signs on here are in German uh, or, you know, something like that. And then this is all, um, you know, obviously this is a European map asset even though this map takes place in North America so it's just kind of a funny little thing but hey maybe we bought our storage rack from a company over in Germany oh uh, we got our milk fill point or milk cell point right there so we can grab our milk the main farm we got a JCB fast track in here this is also the uh, work like the um, the workshop here so we have JCB fast track what model is this the 4220 nice it's a nice tractor right there, and it looks like they have the front loader attachment too, which is even better. Yeah, it does. Sweet. It's got the front loader attachment on it. Um, so that's really nice. And we got a bucket for it as well, so we can throw that up on the shelf over there. Back over here, we got a slurry point and the manure point for the cows. So that's also on the main farm here. Uh, we'll go back to it real quick. It looks like we have... So we got our, our main farm, of course, those implements. And that looks like that was all for here. So we got the one tractor over here. Uh, we got the cows over here. And then we have the pigs over here as well. And then there's a farm, the farm dump off silo right over here, which is actually kind of cool. This is a really neat looking one. Uh, there's another little shed right here that we could store stuff in with access on both sides. We've got a little bit of a driveway. We could park a truck there if we want. Um, I like this little storage shed. This map looks really nice so far. Like, I'm thinking I'm really going to like playing on this one. Um, but this is a storage silo. So this is where we would... Um, looks like we dump and fill from the same spot right here. So that's kind of cool. Not really sure what that would be. It's really nice and decorative. I like the little baby trees over here. Um, but yeah, it looks like so. It looks like you dump and fill right here in the same spot. Nothing's popping up, but it looks like that's the case. So cool. We have 380,000 liters of storage right there. Is there another storage point somewhere on the map? Or does that hold all 380,000 liters? Doesn't look like there's one up there. That's where the sheep and the horse paddock is. Uh, we got the gas station over there, so. Alright. So this is the pig building here. Um, this is where you'd go to fill up the pig's water. We got more storage sheds over here on this side, which is nice. Um, the food trough for the pigs. This is where you'd come to buy pigs or drop them off. Uh, you can't go inside the building, which kind of sucks. I like when you can go inside the buildings on maps, but that's okay. Um, looks like we got the straw point right there. Maybe the manure and the slurry is shared. Do pigs produce manure and slurry? I don't know. I haven't done animals in FS19 yet, so it's been a while since I've done... Oh no, here's slurry. 
so there's the slurry for the pigs, and we're currently standing in it, so that's kind of gross. Maybe the manure goes in the same point, or pigs don't produce it. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, don't call me an expert on anything in Farm Simulator. I just really like to play the game. But I haven't done animals in 19 yet. I just, I haven't, uh, just been doing arable. Uh, haven't even really done any grass work yet. So I think this is one of our fields that we own. Yes, th so this grass field right here is the grass field we own. It's really nice. Uh, it's a pretty decent size, so that would do pretty good to make some grass there. Could st we could, uh, start with that to make some, um do some silage and stuff to make some good money off of that. Um, this is a refill point of some kind. Let's take a look. Um, well, we're going to head over to the other farm, which we got to go down the road. Looks like, I don't know which the, I don't know what the best way to get there would be, but let's close that up. And get our tractor going here. I love the JCD fast tracks because they're a nice fast track. So, let's go ahead, we're gonna get going here guys, we're gonna head down the road. This tractor tops out at 40, uh, 40 miles an hour, so that's, that's pretty nice. Let's see if we're coming. So if we want to take a left, looks like we want to take a left on this road here. I do use a Logitech steering series. So here's a, oh they start us with this little baby combine. Oh that's okay. So this is the Bison Super, uh, the FMZ Bison Super Z056. Uh, literally that little baby combine. But hey that's okay. I mean it's a start right. Uh, we got a water tank which is cool. So we can actually start with animals right away. We got a fertilized spreader. There's our combine, and then we got a, oh wow, they started with a logging trailer too. So the pull behind logging trailer, so we can grab the logs. Uh, we got the, I always like this trailer, um, Stroutman. Uh, we got a case tracker, 7250, which is nice. And then we got a um, liquid fertilizer, uh, boom, the Hardy Mega 2200. That's a nice one to have as well. We got a plow, the Agromaz. Uh, we got a cultivator, and then we got the Amazon uh, basic cedar here. Uh, so we got our sheep are on the other side of this building. So there's a couple more storage sheds here. This might be a water fill point. It might be. It's a nice looking area here. Oh, dude, there's little baby fields over here. <laughs> we own these fields. See, look, there's sunflowers, there's potatoes growing here. And we got sugar beets growing, too. That is really cool. Of course, I don't know how we would harvest those, but um, I love those little fields. That's actually a really cool little touch. Uh, so here's the horse paddock over here. Uh, we got a spot for their food. Their water, of course, or the food goes there, water goes over. No, this is where. That's a food trough, too. Uh, looks like this is where you go to load them up, maybe? I don't know. Or that's. Sh like, I haven't done horses, so horses is completely new to me. There's a gate here that opens this thing. So. so, this is the horse paddock. This is where you'd keep your horses if you're playing the game. There's a little tiny shed over here to keep some equipment down here. Uh, some horse stables, of course. And then, uh, we'll go up here, go look at the sheep area. And then we'll go take a look at the fields that we own in better detail as well. 
So the sheep barn is right here. Uh, that's probably the wool point right there. This is where you'd come to unload your sheep or buy sheep. They got a little tiny pasture here. Oh, uh, we got our food trough. And it looks like the water one is right over here, so. Or the other way around. Again, of course. So it looks like I think we own, yeah, so we own this little grass field here as well. And then we own this little part of the forest up there. So that part of the forest we own, which is nice. So we can cut some trees down, make some money off of that. And then we have a wheat field up here, it looks like. Um, geez. One second, guys. own this field as well right here and looks like this is a wheat field that is growing over here still yeah so this wheat field is growing as well so we'll have to come over here take care of that let's get back into this Uh, this oat field over here was ready to go, as we remember. So oats is one of the things I think you need to feed horses, um, so we can keep that stuff around. Overall, it's a really nice, uh, nice looking uh, map. I really do like how this map looks. Uh, so let's head over to the shop. So it looks we got the shop here. Um, Good old Carlos Reliable Motors. Uh, some people walking around, which is actually kind of cool. So here's the trigger to buy stuff. Uh, let's go into our garages in case we missed anything. I don't think we did. So our trailer there. Uh, we had a front weight. Yeah, the large pig enclosure. That is a modded one. The horse paddocks, base game. Sheep one is base game. Uh... The cow stall is modded. Farm silos are modded. Yeah, that's 380,000 liters. So that whole thing right there is the thing. It's a modded vehicle workshop. We got a farm stable and then the farm house. So. so that's all that we have in our garage and stuff that we could sell back. Let me look. Can we buy some of these modded placeables? It's one thing to look at too. So the yeah, you actually can. So the, the custom pig enclosure and the mod and the cow stall, you would actually be able to buy in-game. Uh, the silos you can buy. Uh, no custom sheds. Farmhouse is default. The decorations here, you can't buy. Oh, the farm stable's right there. Okay. Uh, and the vehicle workshop you can buy as well, the custom one. I'm not sure how it's custom, but it is, so... Cool, cool. So we're, this is the, so there's a workshop over here. This is where you come to sell stuff. We got the point right there. Uh, the buy point. It's a cool looking shop area. Let's go over to, we're gonna go take a look at the spinnery next. So this is where you'd come to sell your wool. It's a nice little setup right here. Looks like it's easy to navigate. So you'd be able to get your trailer in here, unload your pallets. Got plenty of space. Uh, let's head across the street to the silo. This is the uh, railroad silo west, and there's a lime station here as well. So we can come here to sell grain right here. And the train tracks come through here as well. Uh, on the other side over here, duh. <laughs> so you can come here to sell grain. Um, and they can come here to sell the grain as well for, um, if you need to store stuff or sell it. Um, so you can pull the train into here as well. And there was a lime station here. I like this, there's, uh, they put pedestrians in, so there's actually people walking around, which is kind of cool. 
And here is a lime station, lime fill up point. Let's go look at, so we got the central grain elevator over here. So you come here to sell grain as well. So it's just a pull through point, which those are really nice to have the pull through ones. Um, instead of having to like back into a spot. Uh, the town of Woodshire is right there. We're gonna go take a look at the sawmill real quick. So this is the sawmill, come here to sell our wood and wood chips, I'm assuming. A lot of wood sitting there it's kind of cool looks like here's the sell points over here looks like so yeah you'd come up here to sell your wood uh, you'd load it right into this bar right here you can sell it all and then back here would be the sell point for the uh, wood itself or the wood chips looks like it was right over here where we spawned in or something like that um Let's go take a look at the ranch now. So this is a spot you can sell your grain as well. It's a really cool looking area. It's like a horse area. You can bring your horses over here, look. So we could bring our horses over, put them through some uh, skill training, all that type of stuff. Cause you know, you gotta ride the horses around, at least from what I've heard. Um, if you wanna resell them for good money. Uh, we got that. Head up here to the restaurant sell point. Again, right here, grain sell point, pull through. It's awesome. Uh, you can see the coast from, or we're at the coast now as well. Water looks really nice. The scenery in this map is actually really cool. I like it. Uh, we're gonna head into the railroad silo east now. So again, this is another um, point where we could um, store additional crop if we needed to. It's also a sell point. So right here, you come through to sell stuff. And then you'd come through with the train as well. There's the lime station, and then there's a train point right here as well. So you can fill from here into the train, uh, and you can sell here as well. Uh, let's head to the BGA, the biogas plant. So this is where we obviously do our slurry and all that. So we'd sell our, um, not slurry, sorry, we sell our silage here. Uh, this is a pull through point right here. There is a little bit of a grass field. It looked like on the map this is where the bunkers were supposed to be. Looks like that's where the bunkers are supposed to be, but there aren't any bunkers there. Uh, are there any bunkers over here? No. Hmm. <coughs> that's really strange, because if you look on the map, this is like where the bunkers are supposed to be it looks like but there's just grass here okay I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look into that one because uh, uh, that looks like there's supposed to be three bunkers there. there's one here one here and one there and then the road that goes through the middle of it. So that's kind of weird. Um, so we're gonna head over to the animal dealer next. So you'd come here to buy your animals. And come here. This is where you'd select which one you're gonna buy animals for. So it's a neat little animal dealer. Uh, we're gonna go to the port grain elevator now. So this is the port grain elevator Looks like he has <coughs> The map has a little too much grass growing on it in some areas. So this one um, 
Not sure, I don't see where the normal... So you can sell with the train here, of course. But I'm not sure where the normal sell point is. But this is where it spawned us. Like, this is where the icon is right here, but there's nothing here to sell. So I wonder if there is a normal sell point here. There might not be a sell point here. There's an egg sell point. Oh no, this is the this is the animal dealer. So yeah, we're still right next to the animal dealer. Not sure on that one. Um, if we look at the port grain elevator, so there is it's a sell point. We'll have to find that later, of course. Uh, let's go over to the barn. This is where we'd sell our straw, our hay, uh, silage bales, all that type of good stuff. Right in there. And I think that was pretty much everything. Uh, so we looked at our fields already. I really like this map. Um, I think this is going to be a good map to kind of do a let's play on. Uh, we're not going to do a seasons let's play, of course, at the moment. So we're going to just do this one. Um, but I, I like the I like the setup here. Let's get back to our house. So everything looks. I, I like the way this map looks, like, um, I think this could be a good map to do. We got some grass fields, of course, right off the start. We got this big grass field here, we got one over here. Uh, we got this one right here, we got some forest space. Uh, we got the oats and then the wheat field, of course, to take care of as well. Um, there's a good mix of arable fields on this map with the grass fields. Um, there's some other fields over here to purchase later on. Uh, it's got a good mix of cell points. I mean, I, I like how it looks. Uh, there's no ginormous maps or anything, or no ginormous fields. I mean, there's a couple of bigger fields, um, but they're mostly square, so that kind of works good for AI workers, all that type of stuff. Um, but I think this would be a good point. Uh, this would be a good map to start a Let's Play on. Uh, we didn't go to the, the gas station. Let's go take a look at the gas station, which is also in town, so we could just run over to the town real quick. Go take a look over here. Let's head into the town. So you can see the town here. Nice little town. It's got a basketball court there. Um, of course, it uh, looks like there's an ATM right there, so that's a good little point to have. So that's a pretty big field there. Uh, map overall? I mean, it's a really nice map, so... We got our secondary yard right there. The primary yard is right there. So you can see they're pretty close to each other. We got cell points. I mean, it's a nice map. It looks like it's a standard size map. Uh, it's not like a 4X or anything like that, of course. But, I mean, it is a nice map. I, I really like it. Uh, let's drop back down here. Woo! Uh, this cute little town here. Got the basketball court over here. But everything looks good. We got Center Street, Main Street, of course. Good old Center and Main Street. People walking around. There's traffic on the roads. Uh, it's a nice little bit of detail that went into this map. So I kind of like it. I think we're going to go ahead. Uh, we will start a... Uh, I think we'll do a Let's Play on this map. Hey, look. Goldcrest Valley. It's that way. <laughs> go down the highway and you can finally find Goldcrest. Alright, guys. So this is Thunderbolt signing off. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this map uh, tour video. It's not really a review or anything like that, but uh, I wanted to take a tour of the map before I did a Let's Play on it. So I think we're going to do the Let's Play on this map. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.